I can't be the very first plumber that's come across this problem. So there must be a product out there that does what I'm expecting it to do. Visible drips, stops backflow, stops smells. But there wasn't a single product solution. So that then became my inspiration to want to design a product, invent a product that did all those things in one go. We got a phone call from a chap in Scotland who wanted to use Hotton, not on an unvented water heater, but on a boiler. So I've actually got hold of Worcester Bosch, explained to them about my product. He said, we've been looking for a solution to a problem we've got for the last two and a half, three years, and we think your product has solved the problem. Then because the other boiler manufacturers realized that this was a solution for them as well. So eventually we got all the major boiler manufacturers allowing us the privilege of having their branding on our products, which doesn't happen every day of the week. The design of the hot and dry trap tundish is such that the spring rating is strong enough to keep the valve closed so that when we connect to a waste pipe, you get no smells coming up from the waste pipe into the cupboard or the property. But when there's water dripping, the valve will open under the weight of the water and then close again once the water's flowed to drain. Unique to Hotton is the open-sided construction. When the water puddles in the top of the tundish, the installer comes along, can see that water, and can actually touch and feel it. That's totally unique to this design. With a temperature relief valve, because that discharge is high volumes, the valve has got to open sufficiently to allow that high volume flow of water to go through. So it's got to deal with drips and high volume flows, which this design does. A boiler, if it loses water out of the pressure relief valve, eventually will shut down and lock out with no pressure. On an unvented cylinder, these pressure relief valves discharge and discharge and discharge and nobody notices them. I wanted to create a product that brings the problem of whatever's going wrong to the customer's attention. So the alarm unit was designed to fit onto the tundish and the sensor tip would be where the puddle would be formed in the same place on every product. The alarm itself has got an automatic low level battery alert and it's got battery interrogation press and hold the button for five or six seconds, it will tell you green, amber or red, depending on how much charge is in the battery. So the battery kind of takes care of itself. The water starts dripping, the alarm goes off, and it sounds once every 20 seconds. Enough to be noticeable, but not too much to be extremely annoying. Something's wrong here, excuse me. We can manually mute press and hold for three seconds and that's muted for 24 hours. It's also got an auto mute function in there and auto reset. So after that alarm going off for 12 hours, it mutes itself for 24 hours. After 24 hours, if the sensor tip is still wet, it sounds the alarm again. If the sensor tip is dry, it resets itself into what I call active standby. You know the unit is in active standby because it's got a green flashing light every seven seconds, a visual indication that the unit is active. There's also a diagnostics function in there. On the back of the sensor board, there's a thermistor that will sense the temperature of the water and give you a different type of alert for each type of temperature in a range. So that's got four alerts. And that tells the installer a bit more about what's potentially wrong with the system. If the alarm's going off at its level four alert, that means there's water 85 degrees C. There is something to be looked at quickly. From an engineering perspective, I love it. It's a great product. I, I use it as an absolute standard on all my installations now. It's not even an optional addition. It gives so much uh, versatility when it comes down to combining pressure reliefs and condensates. It lends itself so well to unvented cylinders because the reality is people don't get them serviced like what they should do. It allows the customer to know that there's a warning before it ever becomes an issue. 